Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your bi-weekly tarot and psychic readings for the weeks uh, starting the 17th and the 24th of April 2017. Thank you very much for joining me. So we're going to use the after tarot deck for the tarot portion uh, and the wisdom of the oracle deck for the psychic messages and I love working with this deck for the psychic readings. Um, and we're going to do the tarot portion first and then the psychic uh, portion second. Um, as always, please remember that these are general readings, so they're not going to apply to everybody watching, okay? Um, if it doesn't make sense to you, then it just means that it's not meant for you. And you can watch your moon and rising sign readings for additional messages that may apply to you. Um, or, of course, you can get a private reading specific to just you and what you're dealing with. And the links to my website are in the description box below. And we're still running special offer readings or a few different special offer readings at this time. So if you're interested in that, um, I've also linked my specials page in the description box below. Um, but there you have it. Uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy your readings. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, I appreciate all the support. Have a wonderful time ahead, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Take care. Hello, Pisces, and thank you for joining me. Um, so uh, let's have a look and see what is going on for us for the next couple of weeks. I'm a Pisces sun as well. Um, for those of you who've been asking, I'm a Pisces sun, Virgo moon, and Cancer ascendant. Um, right, so... At the bottom of the deck, we have the beautiful Two of Cups, and it's actually the first time I've seen the Two of Cups in um, all the 12, 12 readings. Um, so, Two of Cups as the overall energy. Four of Swords. The Tower. The Strength card. Page of Wands. Four of Wands and the King of Cups. Okay, so we do have beautiful cards here. The overall theme is partnerships, new love relationships, restored relationships, reconciliations, new friendships, um, new job opportunities coming through with the Two of Cups. Um, then we have so for some of it, for for some of um, the Pisces, a relationship that was broken up by a big argument. You haven't spoken to each other in a while. You haven't seen each other in a while. You've kind of freezed each other out, um, and it may involve a Leo, because you have fire sign energy here, or another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and this could be the same person. They just have fire and water in their chart. Um, they are reaching out okay they're extending communication to you they may come to see you or they may ask you out to discuss things to uh, clear things up and i do feel that uh, for some of you you will be putting egos aside or you will be letting go of this um the conflict okay uh overcoming those those um emotions that cause you to overreact okay because the king of cups here is all about uh, emotional stability, emotional maturity, someone apologizing, someone being mature enough to apologize to say they were wrong, to be the bigger person, and then the other person choosing to uh, not be egotistical about it, not be, uh, not following your ego, okay, in terms of um, your pride and no, but my feelings were hurt, okay, it's about, okay, we both said some things, we both did some things, uh, both of our feelings got hurt, I do agree it's time to move past this, okay? So kind of calming things down, okay? And letting go of the drama. For those of you, this is about um, resting, taking time off, and it could be to do with a physical injury, a sprain or something like that, because you've been overworking yourself, or if you've been working out, you're working out too hard, too much, uh, too fast, too much too fast, um, and there may be a small minor injury um, that asks you that, well, that gets you to rest, you just have to take time off, you have to, you know, stay off your feet kind of thing, but you will recover, you'll recover quickly, you just may, may need to be at home for a couple of days. 
For others of you, this is about spiritual awakenings happening during this time. Your eyes being open to a new way of seeing things, to a new way of being, to a new way of, of life, to a new way of understanding things. Um, for some of you, this is about strengthening your faith. I feel like your prayers will be answered and you're going to, they're going to restore your faith. Okay, you may have been losing hope with something, whether it's a relationship or a health situation or a job situation. You may have been losing hope. You may have been losing your way. And you started to pray a while ago. And now your prayers are answered and you're open your eyes. Okay, you, you have your eyes open to the fact that yes, your angels are listening and they are there for you and they're trying to help you all the time. So I feel like restored hope, restored faith and confidence in yourself and the world and the universe um, is coming up for some of you. Spiritual messages, very much so. Stabilizing you, making you feel um, protected, making you feel safe, making you feel guided. Like you always have a friend there. That's beautiful. For some of you, this is about a new job and it's coming out of nowhere. For some of you, you're not even looking for a new job and it's coming out of nowhere and it's a good opportunity. Okay, someone in HR is reaching out to you, a recruiter is reaching out to you. It's a good opportunity. So you may really consider this partnership, okay? It would be a fair par partnership, an equal partnership. You would get what you give kind of partnership there. And it could be to do with training for some of you, with physical training. Could be to do with uh, teaching for others of you. It could be to do with the arts, being creative, um, writing, editing, um, that sort of thing. Or um, anything to do with spirituality. You could even, you know, start to work for... Um, anything like a church or a spiritual organization. And for those of you, this is also about volunteer work, charity work that you're doing during this time. And it may mean that you make a really good friend in the process. For those of you, this is about marriage proposals and it just comes out of nowhere. It could even be that your partner is away from you at this time for work or responsibilities, whatever the reason. Uh, it could be that they, they just can't wait to get home to propose to you and they kind of slip and propose to you uh, online or over the phone. Okay, it could be that sort of thing. Um, and for those of you, it is... For those of you, they're proposing in person. It's just still very unexpected. Um... For some of you, the Four of Wands talks about moving in together, and the Page of Wands is that invitation of, hey, look, we should move in together, we should live together. With the Tower, there's a lot of unexpected energy happening. I'm not seeing the Tower of something bad, big, negative, shocking. I see it as something uh, amazing, okay, something um, positive, like a big surprise, but a positive surprise, and it could be to do with new jobs, with promotions that you didn't even know you were um, considered for. Um, marriage proposals i think i said that already um good news about a home good news about property good news about moving in buying a house your house selling kind of thing um and then the king of cups can be your realtor the king of cups can be um an intermediary that really gives you this good news i do feel that for some of you this is also about having a family starting a family I feel that you may have been praying for this or you may have been trying for this you, you may have been uh, have gone through procedures for this three times four different times and it finally takes and you finally have your home and your family for some of you you're gonna have twins it's gonna be four of you or you're gonna have another child if you have one child you're gonna have a second child that this is gonna this is gonna be four of you okay that's what I'm getting for some of you and this is about the, the being the father figure as well. So being a parent also comes up here. This can also be eloping with the Tower of the Strength card, Page of Wands, Four of Wands, Two of Cups. This is about eloping. Okay, this is about just going to a church, getting the wedding done, or going to the register. I do see a church though. Um, 
or something to do with your faith okay if it's not a church something to do with your faith and someone marrying you because the king of cups can be a priest also comes up here as a priest or a registrar or someone um like a judge or someone who can marry you for some of you that's what's going on and that's awesome But I do see a friendship um, reconciling. It may have been a time when you didn't talk to each other. If it's not a love situation, then it's a friendship, or if, or even with a family member, you didn't talk to each other. There was a big argument. There was a, you know, a big um, conflict between the two of you, and then you've had to. You've kind of both of you have been stubborn, not talking to each other, and it could be that they're reaching out to you, especially if they're a fire sign or they have fire sign energy in their chart. So Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, and the Four of Wands could be that you work with this person or you see this person at work. Um, and it's like, it's about cordial relationships. It's about stabilizing this friendship where you can be nice to each other. You can support each other with work. You can be friendly again. You can be good friends again. Um, this is harmonious relationships as well with the Four of Wands. Okay, so let's look at your card for the psychic messages so we have treasure treasure island and another another sign had this i don't remember which one uh so number nine treasure island so if you've been watching me uh for a while now you know that i i, I try to um help you get a direct message through the card okay in this general reading that may or may not apply to you um and you do that by focusing on the card taking it all in you can pause the video and do this uh, for a while, but you just quiet the mind and open up to receiving a message, to receiving communication from your own guides through this card and just let it speak to you, see what kind of messages it gives you. The image, the colors, the words, the numbers, what it reminds you of, what it talks to you about. And definitely watch your moon and, and rising sun reading because we've also had recurring messages okay i do see a long-awaited pregnancy for some of you in this card and it's like the wait is over is what i hear the struggle is over for some of you you may have had to uh, do hormonal treatments For this I don't know if that's the same thing as the, the procedures that are, they do to impregnate you or not but I'm getting hormonal procedures um, this is also about proposals getting the gift getting the jewel um, getting the ring uh, for some of you or you're giving the ring to someone you're proposing and again this feels like it's been a long time coming or it just makes sense you know what I mean? It just, I feel like when you tell people you're engaged, they're not going to be shocked. They're going to be like, that's really nice. We were waiting for you to do that. We were waiting for you to say that. We were wondering when you were going to do that. I do see falling in love for some of you. We're falling back in love um, with this energy and being starry eyed again and uh, getting to know each other all over again um, and just falling deeper and deeper in love with this situation. For some of you, I feel like a friendship may turn into a romantic relationship. And it can go the, the other way around. Someone you used to be in love with or someone you used to be in a romantic relationship with uh, where things didn't really work out. I feel like you're now able to put it behind you and still be friends. So, um, so that's a good thing. Because you have a really close friend there. This could be about moving for some of you, definitely. I do feel like this is about money coming to you or someone uh, investing in your business uh, or new contracts, new clients, new orders, um, sales going through with this kind of energy. Your finances are improving or increasing. And it's definitely, it's not that they're stabilizing, they're improving, they're increasing, okay? Something that you start now will bring you a lot of prosperity in the future, financial and otherwise. 
you do need to take your time with it and do things properly, not rush through anything, but it will pay off for you big. I do see overcoming an emotional situation, so it could tie into what the King of Cups would talk, was talking about here, where um, you've been very, very sensitive, overly sensitive, or you've been dealing with someone who has been overly sensitive. And this could be pregnancy hormones, or it could be hormone treatments that have affected them this way, or they're just overly sensitive at this time because they're going through a difficult time. Um, and there's been a lot of hurt feelings for no reason between the two of you. Uh, nothing you said was taken the right way. Uh, nothing you did was uh, the right thing to do uh, because this person was just so sensitive and took everything personally or vice versa. Um, I feel like you're finally coming out for air. Okay, you're finally able to clear the air and to get out of your emotions and go back to what matters, I feel. I do see you reaching a financial goal. So if you set a goal for yourself financially, you're gonna reach that. I also see you kind of calculating things or putting things together or doing your taxes or putting paperwork together if you're asking for a loan or anything like that. In fact, you're looking at your money, your resources, what you can invest, what you should get out of that, coming up with a business plan, um, looking at how much money's coming in and how much money's going out so that you can optimize your budget is what I hear for some of you. But I do feel like this will um, this will give you peace of mind. Actually, you're doing okay. And actually, you're headed in a good direction is what I'm getting. And you may get some money back if you're doing your taxes or anything like that. You may even get some money back from that. For some of you, I do see a um, female mother figure. Uh, sister, cousin, close friend, uh, co-worker, boss, just a female energy, uh, giving you the help you need. And I feel like you didn't even ask for this. You were trying to sort things out yourself, um, but they're giving you the help you were looking for uh, that you didn't even have to ask for. And I do feel like this is financial advice for the most part, but it's also about emotional support moral support and also um, giving you an opportunity to vent, to process your emotions, to understand your emotions better. Um, and this is the person making you feel safe and protected and understood and kind of helping you balance out your emotions. For some of you, I feel that you're saving for a holiday. You're saving for a holiday or you're saving for a wedding or you're saving up to, to because you're planning to move at some point, but you're saving your money. Um, and again, I feel like when you start looking at your finances, you find that actually you're doing okay or you have uh, really good chances of reaching your goals, your financial goals, if you keep going the way you've been uh, going about your finances. I feel that you've been very uh, practical about your spending, uh, on the conservative side, um, sticking to your budgets, being reasonable, being sensible about your finances, and it will show uh, in your overall resources, okay? I do see delivery. So you're delivering a baby, you're giving birth, someone's delivering, someone's in the delivery room uh, during this time during the time of, of Taurus. So it would be more twer towards the end of the month and into the next month. So someone's gonna have a Taurian baby. Or the, the, the person giving birth is, is a Taurus. I feel like it may go a little bit slow, but ultimately will be okay. So like the, the labor time may, may, uh, may be longer than what you would like or what this person would like or what they thought it would be but ultimately you'll be okay I 
I do see gifts, either you're giving people gifts or they're giving you gifts uh, during this time. Uh, it could also be gifts for a housewarming party, gifts for an engagement party, gifts for a baby shower. But I'm getting a very beautiful, warm and fuzzy feeling of at at least one time during this time frame that we're looking at, taking a moment to acknowledge how blessed we are, to acknowledge all the people we have in our lives that love us, all the people we have in our lives that protect us, um, all the friends we have or, or the good friend we have that's always been there for us. Um, if this is a parent, if this is uh, a sibling, if this is our partner, we will, we will feel blessed, truly, truly blessed, deeply blessed um, through our connection to another person. And that's a, another message coming through here. Okay, so these are a few of the messages coming through. Uh, for you for this time frame. I hope the messages make sense. I hope they help. I'm looking forward to your feedback uh, in terms of how the cards apply to you, uh, how the psychic messages resonate with you. If they do, uh, you may want to re-watch, revisit the reading more towards the end of the time frame to see how things actually play out. Um, but um, let me know, okay, how things go for you. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a great time ahead and I'll talk to you again very soon. Take care.